What's up guys? Welcome back to All About Custom Whips, man. Part two of my real rapping uh, uh, shows. So anyway, man, um, this one I'll be doing summer three, just to show y'all how much easier it got for me. You know what I mean? Still took a long, it took almost an hour each wheel. Um, the first, the first episode before I edited that was almost an hour and a half, guys. And y'all could see when I was actually doing the rap, I sped it up four times as fast as what I was actually moving. So, you know what I mean? But in this one, I'm on wheel three. I will be uh, speeding that part up too. But just to show you how uh, much better the wheel came out, and we will see the finished product, all the wheels together, all done. Um, and now have them lined up from the first wheel I'll wrap to the second, third, and fourth. All right, so we're just gonna hop into this video, man. Let's go. <laughs> technique down so you know what I mean the product is coming out a little bit better and after doing the other the second and third rim uh, uh, I am going to have to rewrap the first rim even though I love the way it looks right now uh, but learning some you know tricks along the way as you say because it takes a long time to do it guys so um, after doing it for you know a couple hours then yeah it, it, it you, you <laughs> There's, there's, I mean, I cut some of the other one too short, didn't tuck it in some places. So the first one, even though it looks great, it's still going to have to be rewrapped uh, at the edges. But I'm going to go on ahead and show y'all how I'm doing the third rim now. Already got the red laid down. I'm, I'm going to show y'all how I do the grain and some more of the trimming process that I really didn't do too much when I did it on the first rim. But you know what I mean? So like I said, the longer you do it and the more you get to learn the material, then the better you become at it and the easier it gets to, you know, you can work at it. But I'm going to show you all the third wheel and then I'm going to do the fourth wheel. I'm not going to video that. Then I'm just going to show you all the set after I'm done. We out.
to the third round. So yeah, I mean, I'm really happy with the way it's coming out, guys. Once you get the hang of it, then it's not bad. Um, it's pretty good once you get the hang of it. And since I use two different wraps, these are two different wraps from two different companies. So this wrap acts different than this wrap. This is a little more, uh, you got to be more careful with this wrap. <laughs> this is more of a cheaper wrap. This is the Vivid. It, 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 it's pretty good. Gloss red. I like it. This one, yeah, you got to you gotta be careful with this one. So uh, I'm actually expecting this to probably start coming off before this. I don't know. Never wrap. Don't got no experience with wrap, but I don't know. But this is, got to take your time with it. I mean, but the end result. I love the end result, especially with that down there. Yes, sir. All right, y'all. I'm going to go on ahead and do the fourth rim. All right, guys. I just got done wrapping the face of all my rims, man. Um, I'm really happy with the way they turned out. So I'm going to let y'all go on ahead and take a look at them. I set them up in the order I did them so y'all can see the very first rim I did which is my very, very first time wrapping anything. Well, this set is my first time wrapping anything. Um, never wrapped nothing before. Um, never, never dealt with wrap. So this is my very first project. And I got, I think I got better as I got from the first, second, third, and fourth rim. I set them up so y'all can see the first, second, third, fourth rim. You know what I mean? The work as it went along. So... I'm going to go ahead and turn this around so y'all can take a look. So this is the first room I did, guys. This is the very first job. Uh, and for the first job, it wasn't bad. It turned out okay. You know what I mean? Um, this is the second room. So, you know what I mean? As I got to know the material, I got more comfortable with using it. The third rim. You know what I mean? I wanted a three tone. So, I mean, as y'all can see, the lines and everything got cleaner by the time I got here. I love the way that look with the kryptonite down there. And this is the fourth rim. This is the last one, the final product. Um, so, yeah. That's it all in a row. By the time I got here, well, I thought I was a pro. <laughs> I mean, that 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 really doesn't look like an amateur job, but but it is an amateur job, you know what I mean? I'm pretty sure that the professionals will be able to pick out a lot wrong with it, but for my very, 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 very first time, I think they all turned out great, guys. I'm happy with the way they all turned out. So yeah. So this is what I'll be sitting on for this car season, these 22s. Y'all subscribe to the channel, man, all about custom whips. I'm hoping to see everybody when I head out to the car shows, man. There's only a select ones I can go to because I am in Pittsburgh, guys. I am not in car show territory. I have to travel every time I go to a car show. Uh, travel far <laughs> so there's only select ones i got i can go to you know what i mean every time i go to one i gotta get hotel travel um you know what i mean i'm thinking about going to texas that's 20 hours away though guys chicago i go up there a lot for the car shows but that's seven hours away you know big difference from 20 but still seven hours there seven hours back hotel room all the wear and tear on the car and i drive i don't trailer so, there's only select ones I can go to. So, I'm hoping to see you guys when I come out. Y'all come out, see the whip for this season. Kryptonite. And there you have it, guys. Um, I got a lot of other stuff. Fine tuning I'm going to be doing to the car. This right here is just one part of it. Of course, I still got to get these, uh, get the rubber form, you know what I mean? The sensors and get them mounted which I haven't done yet. I haven't even purchased the tires yet. So I still got to do all that for these wheels, guys. Um, 
I didn't know what I was going to do with them, but I didn't want to have to deal with the tire and everything, especially because I, I didn't know if I wanted to get them painted. I didn't know if I wanted to, to wrap. So it was up in the air when I got them. Um, so I decided just to do this. I, fi I figured that wrap is a lot safer than paint because, you know, paint kind of permanent. <laughs> so this right here, if I mess up, root, take a strip off. Try it again, but I got through it okay. Um, I'm still thinking about re wrapping the first wheel. Um, I think I will be doing that, but I gotta buy some more wrap. I only bought enough wrap to do four wheels, so my red was four sheets for four wheels. Um, I did all four wheels, so there really wasn't room for air, but it's not real bad. I just didn't extend it as far as I should have, you know what I mean. Uh, so it might not lay down like the other ones would because I didn't go around the curves and uh, up where the tire would be the lip. Um, I didn't do that with those. I didn't think about it. Um, so I got to the other rims. So I think that's going to have to get rewrapped. But I got to order some more wrap for that. Anyway, guys, like, share, subscribe, man. All about custom whips. I will see y'all with the next video and we out join my facebook group all about custom whips post your cars bikes trucks all your custom whips in this group feel free and subscribe to the channel y'all like share subscribe we out